Question. question number 12, Ian McKelvey. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Uh, my question is to the Minister for Primary Industries. How will the Trans-Pacific Partnership support new and emerging primary industries? The Honourable Nathan Guy. While the TPP is very beneficial to our major exporters, it will also support a range of small and emerging primary industries. Honey exports globally have jumped up to $286 million in 2015, up $84 million on the previous year. TPP will eliminate tariffs in the US at entry into force and the 22.5 per cent tariff into Japan after eight years. Craft beer production has the potential of following the same success as our wine industry. New Zealand beer exports to TPP countries were worth $29 million in 2015. TPP will eliminate all tariffs on beer, including the $1.80 per litre tariff into Malaysia and a 23 per cent tariff into Vietnam. The TPP will also remove the 11.2 cents per kilogram of tariffs imposed on all of our New Zealand avocados currently exported into the USA and elimination of the 3 per cent tariff into Japan. This will result in around $400,000 a year in tariff savings for this very promising industry. Order. Supplementary question, David Seymour. Uh, will the minister talk to some of his ministerial colleagues about domestic barriers to the craft beer industry, uh, such as the regulatory burden which led to the cancellation of the New Zealand Beer Festival just last week? The Honourable Nathan. Oh, Mr. Mr. Speaker, I'm uh, always interested to have discussions with my colleagues uh, in government about the importance of the tariff. Uh, obligations on uh, the new and emerging, new and emerging uh, beer markets and any complications that the uh, member does see that are holding back domestic production in the very uh, exciting um, emerging market of boutique brewing. Supplementary question in McKelvey. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Why is the TPP so important to growth in these new and emerging industries? The Honourable Nathan Mr. Guy. Speaker, for emerging industries, tariff barriers can be more prohibitive than for the larger industries. Removing barriers to trade gives exporters an opportunity to grow faster than they otherwise would have. If you have a look at Liberty Brewing owner Joseph Wood, he said that the TPP opens a gateway for us exporting over to Asia, and he goes on to say it would help make our pricing more competitive overseas. New Zealand exporters of avocados will now have duty-free access to Mexico, with the 20 per cent tariff eliminated on entry into force. While Mexico has not been the previous market for avocados, the TPP, the TPP now provides a viable new opportunity for them. Supplementary question, Dr David Clark. Does he believe that market access equivalent by 2030 to the output of three large dairy farms, that's three farms, not profit but output, is substantial enough to nullify the then Trade Minister's threat to walk away if dairy products were excluded. The Honourable uh, Nathan well, Guy. Mr Speaker, the dairy industry is the biggest sector that uh, benefits from TPP. A hundred, a hundred and two million dollars that will be removed for the dairy industry, which right now they believe is vitally important. I can't believe that the members' party won't support the Trans-Pacific Partnership when every other leader from the Labor Party has. That member should go down to his electorate and hang his head in shame. Order. 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 That concludes questions for oral answer.